says he's had enough. Pasco County announcing a new zero tolerance policy on school fights. And tonight, Eric Waxler digging deeper into the penalty students could face. In serious Pasco County Superintendent Kurt Browning delivered this stern message on video. We will no longer offer leniency when students engage in fights and similarly unacceptable behavior. Browning says he will now direct principals to expel students involved in what they call level three fights. We're talking about the kind of fight that um, has to be broken up and results in injury to a student that requires medical attention. So we're not talking about, you know, some fourth graders who get into it on the playground and the teachers separate them. We've been reporting on problems with fighting at some Pasco County schools for years. Back in 2019, 5A High School in Hudson came out with stricter punishments, including an automatic 10-day suspension for those involved in fights. But now the problem at some schools appears worse than ever. The district says the number of those level three fights this year is significant. 263 in high schools, 216 in middle schools. I don't want to blame COVID for everything, but if you talk to the airlines right now, I think there's a level of aggression that you're seeing with, uh, with people, some level of frustration that results in aggression. We are seeing that in the schools. You're seeing that in a lot of different places. Elementary schools are included in the stricter punishments. While serious fights are much less frequent there, the district says they had more than 50 level three fights in elementary schools. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.